Friday night in Denver. Just about all of the pressure was on Tampa Bay. After all, it was winter. Their season was over. But now it's three games to two and a lot more pressure, Ray, on the abs here in Tampa tonight. Ridden to the back wall by McKinnon. It comes free to McCarr. Bounces right down low. And they score! The captain, Steven Stamkos, makes it one nothing Tampa Bay. Nathan McKinnon, so much focus on him, Brian Boucher, and you can see the frustration for him. We said, is he going to explode or is he going to implode? To land is gone. He tries to send it back to the point and does, and a shot and a goal from a tough angle. Right on cue, Nathan McKinnon has his second of the series and got through that. Oh boy, oh, to be the best, you have to beat the best and mission accomplished tonight. The Colorado Avalanche, we're so excited to say, are your Stanley Cup <laughs> champions. They went through the two-time champs, Tampa Bay Lightning, to get it done. Now, Colorado's first Stanley Cup since 2001, and the rare celebration tonight, it's also a sigh of relief. Oh, yeah. The whole city has been so tense since Game 3, and I, there's no chance anybody got a chance to relax until the end of Game 6 tonight. All right, here's a live look from Air Tracker 7 and look at this crowd that is gathered downtown. I believe this is this the Larimer Square area. Will someone let us know? Looks like it's the Larimer Square area and that crowd has been gathering all night. They started pouring out of those bars to get out and celebrate in the streets all together. Uh, that, the, whoever's driving that car aside, a lot of happy people um, downtown celebrating and, and what what a night. I know this didn't happen in Denver, but uh, it's not going <laughs> to dampen the uh, celebration here in Denver. And it Denver didn't tonight. happen Friday, but hey, <laughs> Sunday night is as good as pretty any, good. right? That's pretty exciting. <laughs> and the printing presses, they started rolling just as quickly as the final horn went off at Ball Arena. Championship merchandise slowly hitting store shelves across our state, most sports stores. They say they'll have shirts and hats at some point uh, soon. There will probably be lines. You can always order online. Of course, the rush shipping might be worth it in this case. Okay, ready? This is very important information. Listen up. Your first look at the route for the championship parade, all right? So the city just confirmed the parade will happen Thursday, 10 a.m. The route will start at Union, Center, uh, Union Station, end at Civic Center Park with Big celebrations, lots of speeches, lots of fun. The team and then the Stanley Cup will wind down 17th and then Broadway. Now, you are, are encouraged to get a spot early, really, really early. Civic Center Park is going to open to the public at 5 o'clock in the morning. Now, if you decide not to battle the crowds, you can watch all the action from the comfort of your couch. We, Denver 7, partnering with Altitude Sports, home of the Avalanche, for the comprehensive coverage of the Stanley Cup Championship Parade. And our pre-parade coverage Ooh. starts very early at 4.30 a.m. Very nice. Thank you so much for joining us for the Denver 7 Avalanche Post Game Show, sponsored by Colorado GMC Dealers. I'm Ann Trujillo. I'm Shannon Ogden. She is so happy. I'm happy. What happy, a night. I want to go right to Nick Rothschild. He is on the ice in Tampa at Emily Arena. Nick? Wow, okay. Thanks for the introduction, guys. Jack Johnson here has been so kind to wait that whole time to tell us what it feels like to be a Stanley Cup champion. Jack, how does it feel? Oh, it's pretty surreal. Uh, you, you always try to imagine what this moment would be like, and uh, it's never even close to when you actually get to, to hoist that trophy. It's the toughest trophy in sports to win by far. It's, it's incredible. Man, Jack, you've got hockey all over your face. All the years of this, of this grind that is this league, emotions in that moment of lifting the cup over your head. Tell me what that was like. Oh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a lot of hard work paying off, and uh, you have such a bond with the guys, uh, the long road we've been through. Uh, bumps, bruises, uh, the mental toughness it took for us to stay the course. Uh, so proud of this team and so proud to be here. Yeah, the, the, these teammates of yours, every one of them that I talked to mentioned you by name as a guy that they were so happy for, to see your, your career pay off in the way that it has. What does that feel like to have the whole team behind you like that? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm so blessed to be here and to be playing a first-class organization and the, the most rock-solid group of guys I've ever been with. Uh, you know, we. We walk together forever now. All right, I'm going to let you go celebrate, but I got to ask you, have you put any thought into what you want to do with the cup on your day with the cup? Oh, not yet. I'll let my wife decide that one. Yeah, smart <laughs> man. Jack Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to go find some more players to talk to for now. I'll toss it back to you guys. That sounds great. And he's a smart man. Smart man. That, Jack That's Johnson. right. <laughs> and our team coverage continues. We're going to listen in to Jared Bednar right now.
He is at the podium. We promise we're going to get there. All right. Do we have the coach? We're being patient. We're all being. It's, it's, worth, it's, <laughs> it's a big be night. It's away. a big night, yeah, right? We got a lot of moving awesome. parts. In How this proud are you to have him hearing? to see him have this success? In this I'm so happy for this guy. I mean, he is the. I mean, he is as tough a competitor and as driven as a guy as I've ever seen. And I know how bad that he wanted to win. And this playoffs was, like, for me, it was a little bit of a coming out party because what I think that he learned, and I'll have to talk to him more about it, but is this that he didn't have to just rack up points to be successful. He dug in in other ways within the structure of our game, his checking game, committed all over the ice. Um, the depth of our team helped, but I think there was a confidence that Nate had in the rest of our group that he he would do whatever it takes to, to win. Um, and if if he wasn't scoring, didn't bother him, he just kept staying with it and driving play and, and helping his teammates and line mates succeed. Phenomenal leadership. So I'm I'm really proud of the way he handled himself, not just in playoffs, but especially in the playoffs. Um, and and I'm, I I love the fact that I see him get rewarded for for that hard work and dedication over the last six years because he wants it really bad. Second row left, Tom. Jared uh, Kelly Cup, Calder Cup, Stanley Cup. What's your thoughts on just your path to get here? And no no coach has ever done that before. Uh, yeah, I mean it's. Yeah, I still can't believe it, honestly. I've been fortunate to be with uh, in some great organizations and surrounded by fantastic people and hockey people. And um, and Colorado is icing on the cake for me. You know, working for Joe and Chris and the leadership group we have in our locker room, my coaches, the experienced guys that have won and and that I lean on heavily. Um, it's you know I got the best advice I ever got as a coach or early on in my career was don't be in a rush to. to. All right, Coach Jared Bednar. Right now we're we'll stick through. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the podium. I want to take a live look from Air Tracker Seven right now. This is at Twenty uh, First and Market uh, in downtown Denver right now. Uh, we've seen some fireworks and other things going off. In fact, Ann and I were just talking about before that fireworks have just gone on sale. Uh, the Dove's Tales, um, maybe not great timing for this uh, championship evening. Uh, nonetheless, uh, we are seeing that uh, in this big crowd gathering this hour. And we'll continue to check the celebrations, but the big celebration right now is there where uh, Bayan Wang is. He was uh, part of the night inside Ball Arena, and those abs faithful, they are still out there. All right, good evening, Bayan. <laughs> Good evening, guys. The party is just yeah. getting started out here. These guys have been waiting for so long. We want the cup. 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 You guys, these folks have been waiting for so long. Omar, you were just three years old when they won the last one, the first cup. This means so much to the city. This. It's everything! We won! We won! It gave us hope! It gave us life! We're here again. We're champions and we're not done. We're coming back next year. We won the cup! We won the cup! And a lot of this, guys, all this energy, all this excitement, this entire party is going to be spread out through downtown. And we're going to be following them throughout the night. Back to you guys. We won the cup. Got a nice ring to it. I love how that <laughs> chant has changed. Yeah. All right. Thanks, our Brian. Coverage continues right after this.